Here comes Chloe Clucci for West Virginia. Lauren Bolin. Here's Esperanza. Blind full, right into her ginger, and that was huge ginger. To a shoot over handstand, nice and clean, looking good for Abarca so far. Wow, she really hits all of those handstands. That's one great thing about Esperanza. The best score for the Mouse here is on the bar so far. We'll see if Sydney Marler can add to that. There's her Jaeger into the shoot over. It gives her no trouble. Such a challenging release. And a beautiful handstand from Sydney. Just the dismount now. And she sticks it. Wow, so with not a lot of beam experience, she gets a 9875. And after not being on the beam Friday, gets put back in the lineup today. Does a great job. Yeah. And finally, Esperanza Barca for the Mount Spears. Esperanza had, has a lot of experience competing at the beginning of the lineup. I think last year she was always at the front. But here she's anchoring today. This has kind of been her spot on beam. This is the with me in a row she's anchored. That's a big change from last year. She was always in one of those lead off spots, but she looks really confident and calm up there. She has a lot of different skills in this routine. Now she's a pad to overcome the injury to Taylor Sell as well as somebody else that was competing in this event early in the season. Right. They definitely have a lot of depth on beam, a lot of potential competitors, so it's a good thing that they had that and they were able to fill in that spot when Taylor got injured. The bark is dismounts. Round off one and a half stick. Those sticks are going to come back with a fire. Matching her season high and just a tick off from her career high of a 9.875. Wow, so two 9.85s out of two competitions. Kendra Combs on now for West Virginia. Front aerial, front handspring. Oh, this is a new series. She connected it smoothly. Front aerial, front handspring. To a full turn. Switch side, solid landing. Front toss into a flutter jump. Kendra looks very confident. This is a very solid routine. Following in the steps of her teammate, Rachel. Off a 9.85 at Pitt. Her second best score of the year. Wow, that was huge. She really took her time on the set into that. So that was a very high double pike. Beautiful lead pass. Looked flawless to me. Leaps can be tricky for some gymnasts. Front full, front layout. Kendra has these landings under control today. She has almost stuck both of them. And even if you don't stick, if you show that you really have control on that one little step, you might lose a little deduction, but not much at all. The judges just want to see control. 
One more pass for Kendra. Double tuck and another perfectly controlled landing. And now Chloe Clucci in the spotlight. Powerful gymnast. Solid leap. I mean, sticking your leap is not as easy as it looks, so even a stick there is something to be proud of. You can tell she's having fun out there. One more pass for Chloe. Having fun interacting with her teammates while competing. That just shows a lot of confidence and a great finish.